God create love. Love is created by God and is freely given and freely accepted. Just as God's love of us is unconditional and free. As you travel through life together, I caution you to remember that the true measure of success, the true avenue to joy and peace, is to be found within the love that you two hold in your hearts for one another. I would ask that you hold the key to your heart very, very tightly. Ready for your vows? Okay. Nick, do you take Julianne to be your wife? Do you promise to love her, honor her, and to protect her, forsaking all others and holding only to her? Daddy! I do. <laughs> Julianne, do you take Nick to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only to him? State your name. Nick, take you, Julianne, to be my wife. Nick, take you, Julianne, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. And I promise my love. And I promise my love. To you forever and evermore. To you forever and evermore. Julianne, repeat after me. I, Julianne, take you, Nick, to be my husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, and I promise to love you forever and evermore. A marriage ceremony represents one of life's greatest commitments, but also is a declaration of love. I wish to read to you what Paul wrote of love in a letter to the Corinthians. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. It is not rude, and it is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered, and it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. And it always protects, and it always trusts. Love always hopes and always perseveres. And love never fails. And who has the rings? Hi, me. Hi, me. Quiet. Hi, Nana. <laughs> 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 Let's try to hide behind Dan's bed here. Hi. 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 <laughs> Wedding rings are an outward and visible sign <coughs> of an inward. Hi spiritual grace, signifying to all the, un the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. At this time, I ask you to please place the ring on Julianne's finger and repeat after me. Nick, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token yeah. and pledge, as a token and pledge yeah. of my constant faith, 
of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Honey. Yeah, do you have ring? Yes. Hanala. <laughs> Good finger. Juliana, please repeat after me. Hi, Papa. I give you this ring. As a token and pledge of my constant faith and abiding love. Mom. Now may I ask who is holding Tyler? Come here, buddy. Bring him up. Come here. Hold Mama's hand. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may explain, that's incredible. I firmly believe that when uniting a couple in holy matrimony, it is also important to be able to include hey. your children because they, they share the faith, the struggle, and the expectations of this marriage as well. And they will also be the ones to help share in the fruits as they grow. Nick, Julianne, and Tyler, <laughs> as the three of you come into this marriage being united as husband and as wife Hello. and as family Hello. and as you this day affirm me? your Hello. faith Hello. and love for one another I would ask that you always remember to cherish each other as special and unique individuals that as you that you respect the thoughts, ideas, and suggestions of one another. I also ask that you cherish what it is to be family. Remember that a strong family begins when you place God at the head of it, knowing that in the economy of God, there is no such thing as a temporary marriage. This marriage will Daddy. not only affect Daddy. you, Hi but will influence your, your children as well as generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, and to the family and friends that are gathered here, you are also a part of this marriage as well. If you are married, I ask you to please reflect on that special moment when you were first joined in holy matrimony. You will be the ones that these two will come to for support and for wisdom. When they are challenged, I ask you to please encourage them in the direction of strength. I ask you all to please pray for them, and I ask you all to please remind them of this very special day and what it represents in their family. You're funny, mister. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> We're there. Nick and Julianne. In so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in holy matrimony and have promised your love for each other by these vows, the giving of these rings and the joining of your hands, I now declare you to be husband and wife. Nick, you may now kiss Christ. Woo! 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 I did uh, nine minutes of a movie on this thing.